In this video, I'm gonna be going over my three best cryptocurrencies to invest in for 2022. These include all types of different cryptocurrencies that you guys are not gonna wanna miss, so make sure you watch to the very end of this video so you know all of them that I'm about to talk about. Before we get in this video, we make videos like this every single day, and I wanna encourage you guys to hit the like button and subscribe button so you guys never miss a new video that we post literally on a daily basis. And of course, too, if you guys wanna pick up a free stock with public.com, hit that first link down in the description below and get signed up because it's an amazing brokerage app. Plus, when you use our link, you could potentially earn a free stock that could be worth up to $300. Yes, you heard that right, $300. As you can see right there, I got a stock just the other day, $300 with Amazon with that free link, and you potentially could too. So hit that link and get signed up for yourself. But other than that, let's get right into these coins. So first on our list is none other than AVAX or Avalanche. You've probably heard a lot about Avalanche or AVAX if you've been in the cryptocurrency space at all. But if you haven't, just as a quick recap, AVAX is essentially a really interesting project that is trying to facilitate a lot of growth and expansion of blockchains and subnet technology. It's actually a crypto project that allows you to create your own subnets within the blockchain itself. What this means is basically you get faster transaction times and more availability and scope as far as whatever you're doing within your project. Again, all types of different individuals can use this. We're talking about businesses, governments, and even teams within large corporations can use AVAX's overall technology and ecosystem in order to better facilitate all the consensus protocols that it, of course, maintains. One of the the other big perks of AVAX that's often touted a lot is, of course, the transaction speed. The transaction speed of AVAX is absolutely mind blowing. We're talking about tons and tons more of transactions per second, especially when you compare it to large competitors like Bitcoin or Ethereum. Just at the transactions alone, we're looking at over 4,500 transactions per second per subnet. What that basically means is that these transactions are not only just per second, but for every subnet you have, that of course multiplies. As you can imagine, if you have over a thousand subnets, this could be potentially incredibly fast. One of the reasons that I'm looking at this coin to invest in is because again, this is one of my favorite long-term positions in my crypto portfolio. I continue to add to it on a daily, if not weekly basis, whenever there are dips. And especially with the last couple of months where the market has been in absolute turmoil, this is something that I continue to add to my portfolio on a regular basis. Right now it's sitting around the 40 to $50 range and it keeps fluctuating here and there as the crypto markets continue to go through volatility. So more than likely, I'm gonna be doing a lot of buying within this area. Area. And of course, too, I think anything blockchain technology related is going to be huge in the cryptocurrency space in the future. They have a very well vetted team that is doing amazing things to make this overall project continue to grow and expand. And I think that this is going to be something that a lot of people are going to like looking at and of course, doing their own research on, which I always encourage you guys to do. So that way, you know exactly what you're getting into. But of course, that's just for that coin. Let's get into the next coin, which is none other than Theta. Theta is a very interesting network protocol and overall token. This is a cryptocurrency that facilitates unique monetization within a bunch of different ecosystems, and especially when considering creators, people who are making video style content, or even just content in general, and they wanna get rewarded or paid for their work by users who are watching them, or in general by the ecosystem that are a part of. One of the big things that we've seen recently is of course Netflix, and unfortunately Netflix is going through a little bit of an issue right now with overall growth and expansion. Its revenue numbers haven't been great, and we know just recently it had a huge crash in the overall price of its stock. One of the things that's very interesting about Theta and why I compare it to Netflix is that it's essentially kind of the Netflix killer of the DeFi world. This is a potentially a place where a bunch of different creators can go, monetize their work, and potentially earn a pretty substantial income through a decentralized platform. This entire network is very interesting because if you are a holder of Theta, if you're a staker of Theta, you can participate in governance basically, which allows you to, of course, have a say in different things that go on within the ecosystem of the cryptocurrency, whether or not certain things go through and other things don't, and in just in general, you have a vote on what things go on within this project. One of the interesting things about this is that Theta actually allows you to validate a bunch of different transactions. You can produce blocks and vote on changes to the network and of course earn Theta Fuel as a reward. Theta Fuel of course being Theta's own original liquidity token to actually provide a lot of liquidity for this large massive network that they're building on a peer-to-peer -peer basis. This is something that I think has huge potential in the future and as more and more creators continue to grow and expand their overall operations, I think that we will only see more use of Theta, its network, and of course the benefits that it has along with it. This is one that I'm definitely going to be buying in these ranges that the prices are right now, especially with a large dip going on in crypto, like I said before. And of course, this is something that I have a long-term thesis on as well. 
So of course, I'm not going to be selling anytime soon. I'm going to be holding for the long haul. Now, the last but certainly not least coin that we're going to be talking about is Filecoin. You may have heard of Filecoin before, but if you haven't, let me give a quick rundown of what this coin does and what it can do. Essentially, what Filecoin has been doing over the last couple of weeks, months, and the last couple of years for that matter, has been creating a peer-to-peer -peer system of storage, or more specifically, cloud storage-based solution. What this basically allows users to do is that through their own hardware or system, they can offer storage space or capacity within the ecosystem system and through that it allows decentralized cloud sharing functions that you wouldn't normally get in places like let's say Google Drive for instance with their cloud-based storage solution. This is an extremely unique system that hasn't really been tried or done before by anybody else that we can look at currently in the overall marketplace and it's one that I think has huge potential for growth in the future. As we all know cloud storage is only becoming more and more popular as the years goes on. We have more and more hackers, more and more issues with actual real-life events that kind of create a hard issue for a lot of storage systems that unfortunately can't really keep up. Cloud storage is a lot safer too because obviously you have everything stored within that cloud so that way if something in real life were to happen, let's say your house caught on fire, there was a flood or something other tragic would happen and you of course have a bunch of destroyed storage devices, this potentially could save you in that instance. And we're not just talking about storage in this instance, we're also talking about of course the actual system that they are conveying. And what's even more fascinating about this is what they're actually doing with Filecoin's position within this industry and what they're planning on doing beyond that. They're fighting with multiple different competitors right now in order to maintain a competitive advantage because with this, they're allowing users to essentially have a say of where their storage is being put, where their specific files are being stored, how they're being stored. There's a lot more control that's given to you, the user, at the end of the day, which is something most filed companies don't really allow for at all, if any. And what's very cool about this too is that through a lot of complex, unfortunately unexplainable in just one video, I can't really do it all, I'll be here for an hour, guys, but there's some really fascinating things like data permanence and a bunch of other things that will basically allow your data and specific file storage capacity to be a lot more secure than it would be on other networks. Because of its decentralized nature and the also complicated smart contract system that it employs, we can see a variety of security measures that will keep your data safer and of course make you a happier customer and user at the end of the day. But overall guys, that's about it for my top three cryptocurrencies to invest in for 2022. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you want to join our pre Discord down with a second link down in the description below. I really recommend you guys do it. It's an amazing program to be a part of. We obviously love having you guys there and I think you guys will really enjoy it as well. Make sure, of course, to hit that like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm Kyle with Finance, bro. Take it easy.